morning. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It is good to be here in the house of our God, our Father. Let's open our hearts to our good Lord. Let's acknowledge our sins and receive his mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to make all things new. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you wash us clean with your most precious blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you breathe your spirit in us and give us life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent out the raven. And it went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground. But the dove found no place to set its foot, and it returned to him to the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took it and brought it into the ark with him. Noah waited another seven days, and again he sent out the dove from the ark. And the dove came back to him in the evening, and there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So Noah knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent out the dove, and it did not return to him any more. In the 601st year, 
in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and saw that the face of the ground was drying. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing odor, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of human beings, for the inclination of the human heart is evil from youth. Nor will I ever again destroy every living creature as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you, O Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. I will pay my vows to the presence of all his people, precious in the sight of the Lord, is the death of his faithful ones. To you, O Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. presence of all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord in the midst of Jerusalem to you O Lord I will offer a sacrifice of praise to Oh. 
hope to which we are called. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and the disciples came to Bethsaida. Some people brought to Jesus a man who was blind and begged Jesus to touch him. Jesus took the man who was blind by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had put saliva on his eyes, and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? And the man looked up and said, I can see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and the man looked intently, and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then Jesus sent the man away to his home, saying, Do not even go into the village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As children of God, we should have a great love and appreciation for God's creation, for how beautiful it is, for how wonderful it is. In the reading from Genesis today, we hear Noah sending out the dove, sends the dove out a number of times to see if there's any dry land, and eventually the dove comes back uh, with an olive branch, an olive leaf, you know, the uh, olive branch, a sign of, of peace. And the dove, you know, this, this dove over the waters, it reminds us of at the time of creation, when the world was a wasteless void, the Spirit hovered over the waters. And we know when our Lord Jesus was baptized in the Jordan, the Spirit came over the waters, hovered over Him in the form of a dove. And there's just so many... Uh, images or, or times when water uh, comes into the, the story of, of our faith. And um, water is it's a wonderful thing. I just finished reading a book on holy water, by the way. Uh, before I quote from that book, I want to quote to you from Father Thomas Dubay's book, The Evidential Power of Beauty. He has a little section on water. He writes, water, the most amazing substance known to science. And he speaks of the rare elegance of water. So astonishing is this colorless, clear, tasteless, odorless liquid that in two recent decades, approximately 20,000 books and articles have been published to address its properties, mysteries, and splendors. The wonder of water. And again, as children of God, we don't just see water as some scientific substance, H2O. No, we see it as part of God's creation, wonderful and beautiful. Now, one of the things about water, I mean, there's a lot of, I, I've read a couple books about water <laughs> and the spiritual life, the ocean waves and all that. Um, but one of the things we know about water is physiologically, when you're around water, it calms you down. Did you know that? Have you experienced that? Who here likes to be close to water, by the way? Almost everyone, of course. You know, water, it has a calming effect. That's why in airports, um, oftentimes in airports, you have these huge fountains, fountains everywhere, you know. Um, I remember I was at one airport, and a place where everyone was lined up waiting, the whole wall was this fountain curtain of water. And I thought to myself, there it is again. They're trying to calm us down. Praise God, you know. And so the point is, is that, you know, we, we, we're children of God, and God ha uh, provides us a beautiful creation, and sh so we should see, and we should also cherish, you know, we should enjoy the gifts that God has for us. I like to take a walk every day, and very typically, almost every day, I like to get close to the water somehow. I'm very blessed. I got Dow's Lake just down the road, you know, the, the canal, the Ottawa River. Um, but sometimes even just a little trickle of water, a little creek or something, the, the, the sight of water, 
the sound of water, you know, or whatever. If you're a child, you know, jumping in the water with your boots splashing in the water, it heals the soul. We ask God the Father to open our eyes so that we may follow him wholeheartedly. That the church may grow in her effort to bring light to those who are experiencing darkness in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, the despised, the rejected, and the unloved in our society may experience God's care in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have firm confidence in Jesus, who opens our eyes to the beauty of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may see and feel God's loving presence in those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may find perpetual and eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass, the repose of the soul of Viola Henry, offered by Eustolia Henry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim drink your drink death, O Lord. Lord until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Marcel, our Bishop, Yvonne, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, that you should enter under my roof, roof but and only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Heavenly Father, bless your children. Father, let the living waters that flow from you, from the heart of your Son, Jesus. Gladden your children who receive this blessing. Father, sprinkle clean water upon your children and cleanse them from all of their impurities. Lord, make your children new through this blessing. Lord, let this blessing bring your peace and joy. Father, heal your children, set them free, and protect them by bathing them in the most precious blood of your Son, Jesus. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Your love, O oh Lord, has turned to my soul. Hope for tomorrow, it won't let go. Your presence is the joy of my life. To you I lift my eyes. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will sing of your love forevermore. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, serve the Lord. Your word alone, a lamp to my feet, a light to my path as you're leading me. Your ways, O oh Lord, are higher. Yeah.